Okay, so let's go ahead and do the question. Um, we are going to be using this data um, and this output. So um, if you have it uh, printed out, then just go ahead and just take a look at it. So here's question number one. So question number one says, uh, use the above graph to answer the following question. So what is the regression equation? So that is already given to us. So uh, if you go back up to the output, uh, the regression equation is already right here. It's the third one, right? So we're going to write all of that down. So we're going to write test grade. So you can write it as like this. Test grade. Sorry, my handwriting is really bad when I go ahead and and type in here, but it's going to be test grade equals, and I'm going to write it to two decimal places, so 34.6, 34.6, plus 7.35, and then I'm just going to write hours studied. Sorry if you hear laughter, then, yeah, there I have friends over, so I'm trying to do these. Okay, so, <laughs> so okay, so we have... Test grade equals 34.6 plus 7.35 times hours study. So this is basically what you need to write. You don't need to write all of these down. I'll go ahead and tell you what how many decimal places to go by, but make sure that you have all of this. You can also write um uh you can also write this um y hat equals 34.6 plus oops plus 7.35 x if you want. And then X in this case, you have to know that this is our studied, and then Y in this case will be test grade. Okay, so you can write either of these will be okay. So you can write either or. Okay, so that's it. That's all you got to do. So just literally know how to read the output and answer the question. So now it says, suppose that you study for two hours. Use the regression equation to pre find the predicted test score. Okay, so now. I want to go ahead and study for two hours. So I'm going to use my model that I just, that StatCrunch just created for me. And I'm going to go ahead and figure out uh, what my test grade is going to be. So I know that my test grade, right, so I'm going to write test grade is going to be equal to 34.6 plus 7.35 and then times hours studied. So how many hours am I studying for? I'm only studying for two hours. So what could possibly be my test grade if I only study for two hours? So I don't have my calculator in um, online, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do it offline. So I put this into my handy dandy calculator and I got 49.3. So hopefully this is correct. So I got 49.3. So hopefully you guys got that too. So that is not a good grade, right? So, and also when you can look at it here, right? Um, for our study two, right? The point associated with that is gonna be around 49.3, which is, as if you look at it, it's kind of close to 50. So um, you can see that there's a little bit of error. Okay, so now um, let's go to the next question, okay? Um, if the true test score was 51 for two hours, find the residual or the error of using the regression equation. So let's go back and talk a little bit about residual. So residual is basically our error, okay? So let me go a little bit up. So we said that residual was just the true value minus the estimated value, right? So my estimated or predicted value, right? So I'm gonna take the true value minus the estimated value. That's gonna give us my error. And what we call in statistics our error, we call it our residual, okay? So it's gonna be y minus y hat. So I'm gonna go back here, and my residual e is gonna be y minus y hat. Okay, so I need to figure out, okay, so y is my true value, y hat is my predicted value. And since we're only looking at two hours, right, this 51 is going to be my true value because it's a, that's, a, that's a true test score. Setting for two hours gives you a 51. So this is going to be 51 minus my predicted value, y hat, which is what we found over here, right? That was the one on green. Oh, what happened to the green? I don't know what happened to the green. But anyways, minus 49.3. Okay, so I'm going to use my calculator, put 51 minus 49.3 is going to give me a 1.7. So I am off by 
Okay, so I kind of underestimated what the true value was. So that's what this positive value means, that I underestimated. Okay, and then my last question, interpret the slope and y-intercept according to the scenario. Okay, so let's go back to my regression equation. So we said our regress my regression equation was this, right? This was my regression equation, so I'm going to write it down again. So my regression equation was y hat equals 34.6 plus 7.35 x, right? So uh, let's try to look at what my slope is and what my y-intercept is. So if you go back up to um, this, right, it tells you here what each variable is, right? So B is my y-intercept, right? And A is my slope, okay? And down here, I actually have a little interpretation of how to go ahead and interpret that. Okay, so let's go back down. So uh, our y-intercept, right, we said was uh, what? So y-intercept is this number right here, or 34.6. Now, what exactly does this number mean? Well, if you remember from algebra, y-intercept means that when the x value um, is 0, what is the y value? So in this case, when my x is 0, my y value is 34.6, okay? So in this case, what is my x value? My x value is hours. So when I study for zero hours, okay, what is going to be my test score? My test score is 34.6 points. So I don't do really good if I end up studying for zero hours, okay? And then what is my slope? Now remember, my slope is my rise over the run, right? And in this case, my rise is 7.35, right? Because that's my slope. And what is my run? Well, remember, we can write any number over one, right? So this is basically going to be it, okay? That's my rise. My rise is my x, my y value. My run is my x value. So I'm my y value is right now uh, 7.35 and my x value right now is 1. So what does this mean? So, oh, I let me choose a different color because this is not good. Uh, let's see, which one should I choose? Let me choose, I was I liking the green, so I'm going to look the green. Okay, so, uh, so what does this mean? So this means that when I increase... Oh, that's not how you spell I increase. And when I increase my x, my hours studied by one hour, I increase my score by how many units? By 7.35 points or percents. I think it's in percent, okay? So what this basically means is that this is my x value. The number below it is my x value. So when I increase my x value, which is my hours, right? When I increase, for every hour that I study, how many points am I increasing my score by? 7.35. So every hour, additional hour that I study, I will increase my, my test score by 7.35. That's all that, that it is. So, um, we did problems like this on on the um, in class, so hopefully this helped clear up a little bit of stuff. And I, you also have your worksheet that you can go ahead and, and look hand in hand with. Um, and if you want to see the uh, uh, the interpretation here, I gave you a sample of the interpretation as well. Um, so for right now, what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to go ahead and and do this problem, question number two. I think in one in one. Um, um, in one class, I actually did something very similar to this, but try this one out and then we'll do it in the beginning of class in, in um, um, this week. Okay.